What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV. So we've seen plenty of low quality leaked videos of the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. We've also seen some cool looking renders, but here I have the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus prototypes. And this is probably the closest look that we're gonna get at the iPhone 7s before release. So as you can see, we have the iPhone 7 as well as the iPhone 7 Plus, both in the rose gold color and they do look pretty nice. Let's firstly go ahead and remove the screen protectors from the iPhone 7. And then from the iPhone 7 Plus. Now right away you can see that they do look quite similar to the previous iPhone models but we have some key differences. First up, we have some redesigned antenna bands and the look of this new design is growing on me. The bands now not as prominent as they used to be. Jumping in closer, you can see that we have the main difference, which is the cameras. On the iPhone 7, we actually have a larger camera bump than previously and this is housing a larger sensor. So we are gonna be getting better low light images coming from the iPhone 7 and quickly just testing out the case leak that we had of the iPhone 7 a few months ago you can see that it's a perfect fit now initially we did think that the larger cutout was for dual cameras on the iPhone 7 but it's actually for the larger sensor the iPhone 7 plus on the other hand does have the dual cameras now these are likely to be working together to give you sharper images better low light performance and also possibly two different focal lengths I personally can't wait to check these out and test them against some of the other competition we also have a secondary mic as well as an LED flash now this is most likely gonna be a dual tone flash on these prototypes it looks like it's just a single we then have the recognizable shiny Apple logos on the bottom side of the back we have the iPhone logos as well as some information these are most likely going to be a little bit different on the final release models what's also interesting is that these prototypes do not have the three pin connectors that we've seen on certain leaks on the iPhone 7 plus and realistically speaking it is looking like this year we are not going to see that three pin connector this may be something that we see next year. Flipping over onto the front, you can see that they look very, very similar to what we've got with the iPhone 6 and 6S. 4.7 inches for the iPhone 7 and 5.5 inches for the iPhone 7 Plus. And no change here really. Resolution is likely to remain the same and we are also likely to have 3D touch as we've had before. Up top are your earpieces as well as the 5 megapixel front facing cameras which are also going to be slightly improved so uh, giving better low light performance. Now on the bottom side of the front we have the touch ID sensors. Most recent rumors are saying that these will not be pressable buttons. So instead there's going to be haptic feedback and it may allow for some additional options. For example if you do hold on to these a little bit longer or push down a little bit harder like with 3D touch. Up top we don't have anything but you can definitely notice those camera humps which are bigger than ever. I personally just wish that Apple increased the thickness of these phones a little bit so that we could have a larger battery and no camera hump but unfortunately it doesn't look like this is going to happen this year. On the left hand side things are pretty familiar with your volume buttons as well as the mute toggle switch. Now certain leaks were pointing towards there not being a mute switch particularly on the iPhone 7 Plus but I think these are going to stay. On the right hand side you have the power button and the SIM card ejector trays and finally at the bottom you can see that we have the lightning connection and what appears to be two speakers. Now these can possibly be two speakers but there is also a suggestion that we'll only have the one bottom facing speaker and the other grills are for the microphone. Now the key thing here is that there is no headphone jack and this is all but confirmed so you're either gonna have to use Bluetooth headphones, headphones with a lightning connector or use a lightning connector to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack Better. Whether this will be included in the box or not, that we'll have to wait and see for. So there we have it, an unboxing and a very close look at the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus prototypes. Now this is probably the closest look that we're going to be getting at the new iPhone 7s before the launch next month. And that's likely to be on the 7th of September with the release following in the coming weeks. What do you think of the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus? Do drop me a comment below and let me know your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then please do hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me out. And if you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe. 
I'm going to be having lots of iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus coverage as soon as they're released. Thanks for watching, this is Safa on Super Saf TV, and I'll see you next time.